Welcome everyone, Jason here to walk you through the recent changes that have happened between Adobe Software and Pantone's licensing for Pantone colors. Specifically, the spot colors we used to use in the Adobe applications are now no longer available in the 2023 versions of the Adobe Software. And you probably see this little banner that pops up saying, hey, some of the Pantone colors are no longer there, and it's true. If I go to my swatches panel, click on the drop-down menu, go to my swatch libraries, check out my color books, I notice that the Pantone solid colors are gone, which are the spot colors we always use. Now they offer the CMYK and the metallics, but the spot colors themselves we don't have, and that's something I use all the time. So how do I get those spot colors? Well, you can go to the Pantone website and you can sign up for the Pantone Connect and pay a monthly fee in order to be able to use them. But I want to show you a way that is going to work for you so that you can get your spot colors. So this is the nice part. Now, 2023 for the Adobe applications is when this changed. So here's how we're going to get the spot colors into our Adobe applications. I'm going to go to my Creative Cloud app, and when you have all of your apps, you can go to your apps and click on the All Apps. When you have them listed, one of the things you can do is see your current apps that are installed, go over to the three dots, and you can click on the other versions. And when you click on the other versions, you can see where the other versions are, and you can install them. Well, the last version that had the Pantone spot colors in it was 2022 version. And here in Illustrator, this is going to be the 26 build, because we're in the 27 build is going to be 2023. So all I had to do was install that. And once I installed that, everything was good. So I'm going to jump over to my Illustrator 2022, and I'm going to look at my swatches panel, click on the drop down menu, open my swatch library, check out my color books, and sure enough, there are my Pantone spot colors. I'm gonna click on the solid coated. It's going to open up my window with all of my Pantone colors in it. Now this is what I wanna use in my newer versions, 2023. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go into my swatches panel and I am going to click on my first color on the list here and hold down my shift key and click on the last color of the list and I'm going to click on the trash can. What I'm doing is I'm just clearing out all the colors out of my swatch panel. Now I'm going to take my spot colors and I'm going to take them all here and I'm going to drag them all over into my swatch panel to get them all into my swatches. So I'm going to open this up as wide as I can click on the first one and it tells me, hey, you know, this is gonna be a problem in the 2023 version, but you know, we're in 2022, so we still have access to them. So again, click on the first color, shift click on the last color. We're gonna select all of those and I'm gonna drag those all into my swatch panel, every single one of them. And yes, we're gonna ignore this because this is the workaround. Now, with all of my colors in my swatch panel here, I can go in and I can select all of these colors. And I can get any color that I want here, which is awesome. There they all are. But what I want to do is I want to be able to go in and I want to be able to get these colors into my other Adobe applications for future use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my drop down menu and I want to click Save Swatch Library as ASE, Adobe Swatch Exchange. I'm going to click Save. It's going to ask me where I want to save this. And typically, it's going to go into your Swatches folder that's going to be inside your Illustrator application. And you can save this wherever you want to. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to label this as my PMS colors, my Pantone Matching System colors. And it's a .ase file. So when I save this, it tells me that any gradients or patterns or tints aren't going to come through, which is fine. I just want the reference for those Pantone colors. So I'm going to click OK. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump back over to my Illustrator 2023, and I'm going to open up 
that swatch library so I can use those colors in 2023. So I'm going to go to the Swatches drop-down menu. I'm going to open a swatch library, and I'm going to go down to the very bottom, and I'm going to choose Open Other Library. I'm going to navigate to where that Adobe Swatch Exchange had been located, and here it is in my folder, and there is my Pantone Matching System Colors.ase. I'm going to open this, and it's going to come up with its own palette, and I now have every single spot color that I need. Now, don't need this because, of course, but here we are in Illustrator 2023, and I now have all of my spot colors. So I can create any shape, any fill. I can simply go in, select that color. It pops up right here, and even though it tells me, hey, it's no longer available, yes, it is, because it's just simply a color swatch here that we were able to use from another application. Now, as long as I have that .ase file, that Adobe Swatch Exchange, I'm golden. I can use this for all the future versions. If I jump over to InDesign, I'm going to be able to do the same thing. If I want to get my spot colors in here, if I go into my drop-down menu, Load Swatches, so I click the Load Swatches, I'm going to go to my .ase file, my Adobe Swatch Exchange, and I'm going to open that up. It's going to take a few seconds for them to load into my swatch panel. And there, it loads all of those spot colors from the Adobe Swatch Exchange into my swatches panel for use with an InDesign. If I need these in Photoshop, I can do the same thing. And now, when I draw a shape, I have my spot colors right there. I can click on it, so I spot color, I can tint it. Everything is absolutely awesome. But here's a different way to go ahead and do it. I'm going to jump back into Illustrator. So say I did not have access to Illustrator 2022, and I'm working with Illustrator 2023, and I would like to get a spot color in here. One of the great things is I can search the internet, and I can find an actual picture of the swatch color, and I can save it, and then I can go onto the File menu, and I can place that image of that spot color into my Illustrator file. And here I actually have the entire PMS chart basically laid out in a grid structure. And so I've got the full sheets here. Again, I simply downloaded these off the internet and I can bring that in and place either a single color or multiple colors here as an image. I'm gonna grab my eyedropper tool, which is the letter I. And I'm simply going to go in and sample a color. When I sample the color, it puts it into my color picker here, and it also shows up in my color palette. Definitely want to have your color panel open as well as your swatches in order for it to show up here. Now, one trick. If you use your eyedropper tool and it's not working, what you want to do is double-click in your eyedropper tool to call up your preferences. When you call up your preferences, you want to make sure the eyedropper applies absolutely everything. Every checkbox is checked here. If it's not working, the reason why is because everything is checked here. To make it work, you want to uncheck just this appearance box. Not sure why this does it, but everything checked here, just the appearance box unchecked, and then it will go in and it will sample that color. Now I would like to get that color into my swatch panel as a spot color. So with my color selected, automatically placed in here, you can see it's in CMYK mode because that's what I'm working in here. If you're working in RGB mode, it's going to give you the RGB equivalent. From the color drop-down panel, I'm going to create a new color swatch which the co with the color that I have just selected. Here, I'm going to turn it into a spot color. I'm going to name it the color that it is, which is 555 and I'm going to change the color mode to LAB, which is going to give us a more reasonable or accurate representation of this color. It automatically makes it a global color. I've labeled it the color, and I click OK, and it shows up here in my swatches panel as that spot color. Now, if I create any shapes or apply this to any strokes, I now have that spot color. Because it's a spot color, I can now tint that spot color, and if I send this off to the printer, 
it's going to recognize this as a spot color, and since I've named it appropriately, shouldn't be any problem whatsoever. So this is how you can make your own spot colors, just simply by finding that PMS color online as an image, place it in here, sample it, and turn it into a spot color. It's a really simple way if you only need one or two spot colors, and it's a nice workaround to do that. That's how you can go ahead and get your spot colors into the Adobe applications in 2023 and make it work for you.